Imagine being able to stop the music as well. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here for Manudox and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna tackle the stop command, which is kind of important when playing music. To start off, we're gonna create a new Java class in our music package, which is just the stop command. This one is going to implement I command as with every of our commands. If you do not have this I command class with these methods, but use a different command structure instead, that's fine. All you need really need to worry about is what is in the handle method. For the name, we're gonna say stop. And for the help, we're gonna say stops the current song and clears the queue. To start off with this stop command, we're just gonna copy a whole lot of code from our play command. Because we're gonna do the same checks. And we don't need the arguments checked, so we can just remove that one. And we end up with the voice channel checks. If you want to know how this check works, I recommend checking out the play command tutorial, which, ex which will explain those. Next up, we need to get the music manager from our player manager. What we will do is say player manager dot get instance dot get music manager ctx dot get gold. Just get a JDA gold by any means. We are using this command context class. From here, we're just gonna turn it into a, a variable and name it music manager. Next up, we need to access the player in the track scheduler. So for that, we can just do music manager dot scheduler dot player dot stop track. But you see that this turns red. It turns red because the queue and the player are both private. To fix this, just make those public. There we go, now they're public. And we can access the player. Finally, we're gonna say music manager dot scheduler dot queue dot clear. And we're gonna send a message. I'm just gonna be lazy and copy this line of code. And the message we're gonna send is the player has been stopped and the queue has been cleared. So let's register the command in our command manager now, which is just very simple. Stop command. Now we can go over to Discord and check out how this command works. To start off right now, we'll just join a voice channel, run the join command, make the bot join the channel. Let's just grab the first no copyright sound song from YouTube and just play that. And as you can hear, it will start playing it, which works perfectly fine. Now, if we do the stop command, you can see it stops the music and it will indicate the end of the tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Manudox if you have not already, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Goodbye. <laughs>